I had no idea what I wanted to, to do for my entire life, and then I fell into this, and it was perfect. It's kind of one of those buzzwords, styling, stylist, that came out maybe 15 years ago, which is right when I entered the, the styling game. But essentially what stylists do is they infuse spaces with personality and they care a little bit more about how a space feels than functions. You can definitely tell when a room has been styled um, because it just looks like the personality of the person that lives there. Whereas a perfectly designed room that you know might have a sofa and two chairs, it you don't get a sense of who lives there and it might just, just it seems like it's often just missing something. Style. It's missing style. I grew up in a small town in Oregon and my parents had six kids. They were both teachers, so it's not like we had very many options to to buy new everything and so we would thrift a lot and we like to make things so I grew up doing a ton of DIY and you know refinishing furniture making quilts making our own clothes there was a lot of crafting which is also a thing in styling too that's why when I realized that styling was an actual thing a, a career I was like wait so you just shop all the time and then make things <laughs> yes I had no idea what I wanted to, to do for my entire life and then I fell into this and it was perfect. I started my career with the philosophy that um, every room needs something weird in it. Just, just to throw it off, just to create some tension and be like, whoa, what is that? There have been years I've gotten away from that and those are the most boring rooms I've designed, by the way. So I'm actually currently trying to bring more weird into my my life and my home because it, it, it shakes things up in a way that um, just a standard piece of furniture or a standard piece of art can't. I'm about to drop the number one tip of life. It is as long as you have a consistent color palette, you can mix any styles together and it doesn't matter how much of that style you're putting into your home. If you don't stick within a cohesive color palette and you are just adding and adding and adding different styles, different patterns, different, it, like it's just gonna look either messy, um, like junky or crazy. The most empowering and fun thing about styling is that it can be so experimental and you can use your house as your own laboratory. I do all the time. I never finish a room and then like, well, never gonna touch that again. It's my creative outlet, so I will switch out that lamp and I'm okay, I'm okay with it. This is not renovation. You don't have to, you know, you're not gonna switch out your tile every two years, but you can switch out your pillows and it makes you feel, I don't know, it makes you feel ownership of, of your home and ownership of your story and it's, it's really fun.